Barbara. And I'm Karen, and we're the Sync Sisters. This is our tech bit on the settings app, privacy, and location services. Okay, so today we're going to talk about uh, privacy and location services. And those you can find in your settings app. So I'm going to tap on that. And again, as we always say when we go into the settings, um, it looks a little bit different on the iPad and the iPhone. On the iPad, just because it's a bigger surface, um, you're going to have listed here all the apps that you can customize their settings. And then when you tap on one, on the right, you're going to see what you can customize. Where on the phone, this will be one screen listing all the, I, the apps that you can customize. And then when you tap on it, this screen will come up and that will be your second screen. Mm -hmm. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down to privacy here and then privacy will come up. And the first thing that it has is location services. And what this is, is it's allowing your device and apps to tell where you are. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. if I tap on that, you can see you can turn it on. Now, I am on an iPad right here that is not cellular. So it's telling me that it uses, location services uses Bluetooth and crowdsourced Wi-Fi hotspots to find my location. If I were on my phone or this was a cellular iPad, it would use GPS. Right, which would be a lot more accurate. Right. Yep. Right. Oh, that'd be a good thing to compare sometime, you know. Right. It would. If they're different. Where you are. Yeah. 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 Um, so here in location services, um, it says the first thing is share my location. And that means you can share it, uh, make it available to share with other people. Right. Right. If you go in there, it's going to show you. Um, you can share. It's, this is all based on your iCloud account. Okay. So I have an iPad and an iPhone. I can share my location from one of those, not both. So I happen to be sharing from my iPhone right now because that makes more sense to me. I'm not out and about with my iPad as much because it's not cellular. If right. it was cellular and I had it with me all the time, it would make more sense. And I'm sharing my location with family and friends in messages and in Find My Phone with my mother, my husband, and my daughter. Okay. So that's what that is. And if you continue on, you'll see the you apps. Got, right. And then it will list your all the apps, what it's listing here is all the apps that use location services right. have the ability to um, use it. And then what you see over here by the app listed in gray is it will say always, while using, or never. Right. And what this is, if I'm going to tap on this Weather Channel app, and it says I can tell it to never use location services or to always use it. Now, it sort of makes no sense, particularly with the weather app, to say never, because then it would not know where, where I am are. to tell right. me the current weather. Right. So I would always leave that in always. Now, if I go to, um, oh, that's interesting. Uh, it's another weather one. I'm going to go, if I yeah. go into this one, it says never or while using the app. Yeah, that It doesn't one. say always. Um, but while using the app would mean it, when I have that app open, then it can use location services. So it can't be using it. In the background, I was going to say for weather. weather channel that you want it to be on always because um, then it's able to give you send you alerts about bad weather or, and things like that. Right. But I guess AccuWeather doesn't think that's important. Yeah, <laughs> or they they found another way around it. Right. Who knows? Maybe notifications or something. And if you look at like AP Mobile, uh, we have that set to never. Right. So what, doesn't really matter. But if I wanted to see news bits for where right. I am, I could turn it on. Right. Associated so, Press. Right. Right. So that is... Um, right. And notice here, like by calendar, see the little gray... This is the location services icon. It's that kind little, of an arrow. It's like a angled arrowhead. Um, and when that gray one says the calendar oh, has recently used my location, that's what that little um, oh, okay. icon is and I don't see any of the other ones well weather has recently used it mm -hmm. that's because it's on that's always it. right a gray location services icon will appear next to an item that has used your location within the last 24 hours if you forget you can look oops down here at the bottom of the list the purple one um, they've it's recently used your location mm -hmm. and an outlined one um, is one that's using geofencing which is a technology that's set up around a particular area, like a store, for example, might have geofencing set up. And it's kind of a network that they set up so that when you walk by it, your phone can pick up that geofence and it can say, oh, you're walking by 
uh, Macy's and they're having a sale. And, oh, right. and if you have something turned on, it'll pop up and it'll show you that. Oh, yeah. Geofencing is kind of interesting. Or even walking around within a store, it can show you, you know, different items that you might be interested in. That's kind of cool. Yeah. So back out here, um, we were going to look at a couple of other things. We were inside here where it said location services and it was showing us all these apps. Now there are some other things um, regarding location services that you have choices about. For example, in the contacts app, there are other apps that will use your contacts app for location services, and you can say yes or no to those. Okay? Right. Um, there are, and, and a lot of those, sometimes those are like an open table that might say, oh, Karen McKay liked this restaurant. She's in your contacts. I'm going to tell you that. You know, that kind of oh, thing. Right. So it's kind of this... Again, just all customizing your experience on the iPad or right. iPhone in the Apple environment um, based on where you are and what you do and what your friends might be doing, too. Um, calendars, again, allows the same thing. Can you allow location services through your calendar to put things in your calendar with, from, like, Carasotis is a movie place, Open Table, your we already talked about, right? The Apple Store, maybe I have a something going on at a, an Apple store uh, appointment that I have. Reminders, I guess reminders. Yeah. Applications that have requested access to your reminders will appear here. So, so nothing has. And this is just, this is privacy-based. This is not just location. This is, you know, right. it, privacy. We're back out to privacy. Um, reminders, any applications that have requested access to my reminders would be listed here, which they aren't. Um, photos, photos stored on the iPad might contain other information um, like where and when the picture was taken and these things might um, need to connect into photos and I can turn those on and off whether I want them to show up there or not. And a lot of times you'll notice you'll be in an app and a, a box will pop up that say that says allow this app to access your photos. Right. You exactly. say yes or no. And that's where it'll show up. And the same thing with location services. When the first time you use an app, right. you'll often see a box pop up, allow to use location services. Right. So these are all privacy based. Like, do I want Safari to have access to things that are in my camera? Maybe I do if I'm going to be posting a picture onto a website through Safari or I'm going to be um, you know, doing something else. It has to do with that. So these are how you customize what apps can access information on your device. Right. Okay. Um, <clears throat> also social media, you get the same thing like with Facebook. Can these things access your Facebook account? Mm -hmm. You know, and sometimes they get turned on by themselves. Like, ah, okay, I don't even use FunBridge, so I'm going to turn that off. FunBridge? FunBridge? FunBridge! Is that, is that even, allow, is that <laughs> I even don't, correct? I don't is even... Is Bridge fun? I don't I think know. a lot of people think Bridge is fun. A lot fun. of people <laughs> love Bridge, and FunBridge is a fun game for them. Lyft is a ride service. You know, do I really... That probably would allow them to, you know, access my friends on Facebook and, mm -hmm, you know, right. turn that off. Turn those things off. Diagnostic and usage... Um, this allows you to send things to help Apple improve their products and services by sending daily diagnostic and data. I have it off right now because I was having a battery issue, but I typically like to keep it on. I like to help them improve their product. I think it's nice to do. Um, but you can choose to do that or not do that yourself. And you, and can you turn, that turn off. it off because of your battery problem, because it's sending data Because it's a lot. sending data a lot, yeah. Maybe it's just, eating up your battery. Right, yeah, yeah. But now, actually, I have a new iPad, so I should turn it back on. Um, diagnostic and usage data. This is showing you data that it has sent Ooh. at different times. Who so knows? it gets very detailed. Very interesting reading. We don't want to look at that. <laughs> right, right. Share with app developers. Help app developers improve their apps by allowing Apple to share crash data as well as statistics about how you use their apps. I think that's a nice yeah, thing. It doesn't you know? risk you. There's no risk yeah, to you. Yeah, let's, let's let them get smarter about it. Right. Okay. And um, advertising. You can limit ad tracking if you want so that um, it can't... Track you and, and keep show you things right. that you might be interested in. Right. Some Be people find that 
like creepy, like big brother right. ish, right? Right. You can turn that off. Another thing I think we didn't show under location services, at the very bottom of the list of apps that might use location services, there's a system services tab. And this has a bunch of things that are, you know, maybe more system-based with the, not specifically an app, but um, things like, uh, for example, location-based alerts. Do you want to be alerted when you're in a particular place of something going on? Oh, there's a, you know, a special deal going on at a store, things like that. That's location-based alerts. Um, location-based eye ads, being able to have ads pop up as you're walking around a mall or something, mm -hmm. having them pop up. If you want that, you can turn that on. Um, setting your time zone automatically. Mm -hmm. Sharing your location, which I have turned on. Spotlight suggestions, so when you're in Safari and you type something in um, to search, should it come up with location-based suggestions? If you type in uh, water park and you have that turned on and you're in some state that you don't know where you are, it'll come up and show you things based on the location that you're in first, oh, right. which is a yeah. great feature. It is. Mm-hmm. And then you have some other diagnostic things that you can, you can decide whether you want to share diagnostic and usage information with Apple. Again, I, I probably do want that on. Um, okay. I had turned that off because sometimes turning all that stuff off can speed up things if you have an older um, iPad. Right. And popular near me. That's also a good thing to turn on, I think, because then you can see things that um, apps and other things within um, apps within like the iTunes store right. or the app store will come up and show you popular things around you. Right. And that... That's our tech bit on privacy and location services. Thanks for watching the Sync Sisters Tech Bit. And please subscribe to our channel.